Hey guys, so today I've just been laying in bed kind of all day. Um, this is one of the many things that happens with Crohn's is I will have lots of days where I'm really exhausted, where I feel almost like a pregnant woman, um, where I don't want to do anything at all, except it's worse. And then it comes with the cramping, and I just don't want to eat anything. I actually, um, yeah, every morning, most mornings I can eat breakfast, but it's not very much. Um, but I hardly ever eat breakfast or lunch, because I will just feel like I want to throw up if I do try. Um, but when it comes to dinner time, I am able to eat dinner. I just... You know, gotta be careful with not eating it too fast. But, um, uh, anyway, my stomach is still bloated. Just a little bit. You can see it right here, which that's right in this area right here, is where the small intestine is. And I actually tend to stay at least this big all the time. And it hurts. It hurts, like, all in this area. And it will just, it will, it will just be like an all day, all night thing. And like I even have to try laying on my stomach at night to go to sleep or take a Benadryl or something just so I can sleep. But, um, I guess the best way to, it, to describe Crohn's disease, it's an autoimmune disorder as well. Um, it can also be genetic. There's lots of things that can cause Crohn's and... Um, it can come any time in your life and you may have already had it and it just doesn't want to come about until later like me but anyway uh, the best way to describe it is it's kind of like say you get a cut on your leg well your immune system turns on to heal and once the cut is healed it turns off well, with Crohn's disease in your stomach and your intestines, your immune system basically never shuts off. So therefore, uh, well, when it's supposed to shut off. But so therefore, since it never shuts off, I'm basically losing lots of my vitamins, calcium, um, and it's just inflamed all the time, usually. And so that's why they say to stay away from certain things that make you hurt. Um or that's hard to digest, like popcorn and meat. Um, because it, it, could, it just slows everything down. And that's also why I try to eat slow, too, if I eat anything. Um, believe it or not, having a high-calorie diet is good for you. Like, ice cream actually can be good for you every now and then. Um, pizza, just because of the high calories, I bet, you know, I don't see how that's good, but apparently that's, if you look up the Crohn's disease diet, that's in there of something to eat, but I wouldn't eat it all the time just because it's sugar and grease. <laughs> so, but yeah, um, as I said in my previous video, they, I I've been dealing with this for a while now and was diagnosed last year in July. And so they've been trying to find the right medication for me. Still haven't yet. So I'm still in pain. And uh, like I said in the other video, I will end up needing surgery in the future if I keep on doing this because it's not good for me. Um, uh, it's definitely, it can be deadly. Not good. And Crohn's means chronic. It's forever. There's no cure. Um, all they can do is just keep treating it and just try to keep it down with medications and I, I'm seriously about to give up because I've tried pill form, I've tried insulin injections, which sucked because I ended up having an allergic reaction to every one of those. Um, now they're wanting to try another type of injection form. And I'm just kind of scared to try this because what if I do the same thing and then all of these side effects that you hear from it, it's scary. And it just makes you not even want to take the medication. You just want to deal with having the Crohn's. But, um, 
uh, yeah, a lot of the symptoms I noticed I have is the bloating, the cramping, hives. I'm breaking out like a teenager again, and and I'm tired all the time, all the time. I just don't have the energy to do anything. Um, I can't even tell you I drank an energy drink one day hoping that it would help and it did not. And that's never like me to drink one of those and not have any energy. But anyway, I just thought I would fill you in on um, my down days and this is one of them. And I will usually end up feeling this way for a good week or so. It could last anywhere from that to a month. And then I'll have my energy splurt days where I think I feel so much better and I just wish that it would stay that way but it doesn't. I have more bad days than I do good days on feeling down so I hope one day we can find a cure for this because it just it's definitely horrible feeling to have every day of your life. Anyway, um, hope that you enjoyed this, and if you have any questions at all for me, please um, put them in the comments below this video, and I would be happy to answer them for you in the next video. Uh, I hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching.